Are Wyman's wild blueberries pesticide free? The internet is accusing Wyman's wild blueberry farms of aerial spraying pesticides, which they stopped doing close to 20 years ago. In 2005, the National Environmental Law Center served Wyman's a 60-day notice of intent to sue because Wyman's aerial pesticide spraying violated the Clean Water Act by polluting nearby rivers that were inhabited by endangered salmon. Wyman's first defended its use of aerial pesticide spraying before announcing that they would cease the practice in April of 2005 due to financial pressure. The former CEO also allegedly canvassed main farmers and food companies in an attempt to exempt agricultural spraying from the Clean Water Act. Following the threat of lawsuit, Wyman switched to ground pesticide application using boom sprayers. According to the National Environmental Law Center, Wyman sprayed the fungicide Orbit, which contains the active ingredient propiconazole. I found the state of Maine's Department of Environmental Protection Waste Discharge Renewal License for Jasper Wyman & Sons filed on October 6th of 2022. The license stated that Wyman's farmers may utilize insecticides such as phosmet, fungicides like chlorothenolol, and propiconazole, and other pesticides. While those listed chemicals are not USDA organic approved, it's unclear what fungicides, insecticides, and pesticides Wyman's use. There's been a surge of blueberry maggot infestations, which makes pest management extremely important for blueberry farms. Wyman's 2024 pesticide residue statement for their frozen berries state that they use integrated pest management to assure the minimum effective usage of chemicals on their wild blueberry and cranberry croplands. Wyman's washes all berries before freezing them, which helps remove any potential pesticide residues from the exterior of the fruit. Wyman says their berries have no chemical residues exceeding the maximum residue levels and in most cases have no detectable levels whatsoever. I couldn't find any testing to confirm this. Two things for Wyman's to consider are exclusively testing organic pesticides which they already may be doing and then providing more transparency into their practices. What's great is that wild blueberries are a native no-till crop so Wyman avoids turning over soil and causing erosion. I want to point out that Wyman's blueberries are high in antioxidants and accessible for a large portion of the population that can't find fresh berries elsewhere. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this, so please let me know in the comments below.